on board your board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. I'll be a hero. To your people, perhaps. But to the world, they will only see the monster. You become. Are you certain of this decision? Well, there is no turning back. Yes. Um, Miss Himiko, are you certain this is wise? What are you talking about? I mean, it's one thing to, in, like, vampires, but to go this far? To stay in this castle? Why? It was on sale. That's an another red flag. Who would sell this place for so cheap? Especially just... A teacher. I guess I'm just lucky. Are you certain of this? Of course. What's the worst that could happen? You could get hurt. Oh, please. I can take care of myself. But what about your students? We can use the computers or such. If I can't be there by the the appropriate time but I'll just do an online class <sighs> so I can't convince you otherwise no thank you goodbye <sighs> I don't get people and their obsession with vampires they're cool. What do you expect to find? A, a vampire of your own? Well, that would be a plus, but I'm not holding my breath. Do you expect them to sparkle now? <laughs> what? Vampires do not do that crap. Uh, but uh, this. Mm -mm -mm. That is not canon. Okay, as you, well, whatever you say, Miss Himiko, <sighs> just be careful. Will do. As the first night at uh, Lad's Old Castle, it's pretty much what you could expect. Ominous. Feeling like a lot went down here more than most people will be able to stand but this is Himiko we're talking about as she loves the place but it's when she goes down to the lower depths that she feels even more at home she's wondering I can't believe Glad the Impaler actually walked these halls. Fascinating. Until she stumbles and falls straight into a surprise hidden room. As she can see that it's very well maintained. Maybe a few cobwebs or a little dusty, but for anything, it's very interesting considering what the hell was that she sees a coffin <clears throat> snap out of it no no that, that can't be real I mean it's definitely a coffin but there's no way some Someone could be in it. Her getting a closer look. 
he feels a presence within it. It's just something that feels like she's something she should be scared of, but it entices her. Her cracking it open and seeing Izuku. Well, he's Vlad in this case. No way. I, uh, um. Is, is this a real body? Her just feeling, just checking out his armor, looking around. It, it looks real, I guess, but I'm not used to dead bodies, but, um. Huh. His teeth, they're similar to mine. Let me just. Ow! Damn! Hey, Flick. Hell, if it is fake, it's pretty. Uh, dangerous. Huh. Her walking away as she's sucking her thumb. Izuku. Waking up! As soon as she turns around and sees that it's gone, she's like, <laughs> Who are you? And what are you doing in my home? I... I... Speak clearly, woman. Uh, um, I uh, Himuko Toga. I bought this place. What? Yes, yeah, some family sold it to me. Impossible. He told me that he would serve me for generations. Unless his family's forgotten me. Who? That that is a known concern of yours. Leave. What? What? Leave my home. But I bought this, and I am. The actual owner. Who do you think matters more? What do you think I can do to you if I see it necessary? You won't. What makes you so certain? Your eyes. They, though you're trying to be menacing, they seem different. Explain. You seem like you're sad. Like you want company, but you're afraid of what you could do to them if you're not careful. <clears throat> I'm right. You don't want to hurt me. <sighs> I will if I have to. To get you out of here. What if I said I want, I'm not scared? What human wouldn't be scared of a vampire? Oh, you be surprised. What? As Toga goes over the whole vampires being pretty much represented in media and such, she's like, We do not sparkle. I know. Why are you showing me this? How is this happening? How... How do you trap souls? 
What? No, this is electricity. What? Think of it as like lightning. And um, oh man, that's right. I'm, I'm going to, have to catch you up on a lot of things that happened. As yeah, that is a lengthy conversation, as you can guess. So, you're Vlad the Impaler, correct? And, uh, you took upon the Master Vampire's power so you could protect everyone, correct? And, you were close to finishing the end of your trial of not ingesting blood until you had no choice. Correct? But what about your son? I don't know. I... I just hope that his life was a good one. Well, if it was a good one, he's probably had kids and so on and so forth. What? Yeah. You could at least try to see some of your descendants. But I can't. What, are, are you uh, bound by a spell to which you can't leave? No, not that. I just... The sun, I can't. And I don't know how much silver... Uh... <laughs> I can assure you, silver is actually in store supply nowadays. Really? Yes. What about the crucif... Oh, those. Geez. There are some of those around, just... Not nearly as much as in Japan. Japan. Is that where you're from? Yeah. So, Miss Himiko Toga, are you offering me a way to possibly find these descendants? Well, at a price, of course. Uh, very well. Come, follow me. Yes! Finally! As yes, Izuku pretty much t takes her down further into the castle in which a huge treasure room is discovered. Her slack jawed was like, wait, 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 are you offering me this? Yes, is this what you were hoping for? I was hoping you were going to turn me into a vampire. What? Yeah! You, you want this affliction. Well, yeah. But, I, uh, this is very confusing. Why would you want to be one? Well, my quirk already makes me kind of vampiric. What's a quirk? Oh, oh, right, right. <clears throat> Another explanation is needed. <laughs> oh, okay, so humanity has evolved. That'll make me surviving here even more difficult. Mm, technically, yes, but as long as you're careful, I don't see any real issue. Careful. I can do that, but... I may need to refuel, as you would say nowadays. What do you mean? I've been sleeping for so long. And not to mention, I do eagerly away for my master to call upon me 
to help him get his vengeance. Alright, he wants to get back at the demon that tricked him. Well, I'm sure that you'll have your chance. Mm, but by refuel, you mean I need blood. <gasps> Bite me. What? Yes. Uh, you are quite peculiar for a human. Oh, believe me. Humans are a lot more weird than you really, than uh, they were before. Well, come on. I'm giving you permission. I... As he's... Um... Just give me your hand. What? As he bites her finger. And... Her pretty much blushing as well as like I this this is not what I had in mind, but I can guess I can work with this is uh, no that's, that's not gonna be enough if I drain you dry it's gonna be enough for me to make the journey. Well, there are other means of transportation. I mean, I took a plane here. A what? <sighs> no, I should, I should have saw this coming, but I'm going to catch you up on a lot more than I really anticipated. As they go on for days, pretty much... Izuku trying to get learn everything that's changed, especially considering quirks are no factor, and yeah, fire. Not to mention, yeah, Kamui Woods could say, and so on and so forth. His weaknesses will be exploited if people find out. He's actually a real, genuine, honest to god vampire. Oh, it is hopeless. These weaknesses of mine there. As he just... Uh, something doesn't feel right. Huh? What are you talking about? I... Uh, <coughs> Don't tell him I'm looking at you indigestion or something. As Izuku slowly shifts into Toga, her freaking out him is like, what? I uh, is this what like it's like the women have breasts? They're, they're kind of heavy and kind of killing my back. That's just one of the problems <laughs> women face. I would assume so. But what is this? I know I could shape shift, but this is different. No, that's my quirk. What? Well, let me show you. Let me get a drop of your blood. No. I need to show you how my quirk works so you can understand why this happened to you. But I... No, I forget it. If anything, my quirk allows me to transform into whoever's blood I ingest. So that's what you meant by your quirk being by an empiric. Yes. Wait. Do you know what this means? Um, no, not really. What? This means if you can get the right amount of blood or get some one's quirk or immunity, 
due to their uh, quirk, you could be immune to all your other weaknesses. What? Yes, the, the sunlight, silver, crucifixes. You, I mean, maybe not crucifixes, that's something else entirely, but you get what I'm saying, right? I'll be able to walk within the daylight again. Just like before. Exactly! Well, ready to get to work? Yes.